Hello everyone, today we're gonna see how we can edit the config files of Aeon so we can tweak the settings a bit, some of which are not accessible in game. Uh, there are two files that are concerned here, which are located in the main Aeon download directory, the one containing all the main folders. There are two files which are system.cfg and systemoptiongraphics.cfg. Uh, the second one, the system option graphics, you can edit with any um, text editor such as Notepad++ for example. The other one though, you will need a dedicated program to edit it. Before you start editing them, make a copy of them so if anything goes wrong you can always put them back here and Aeon will still launch. From what I've understood, the system option graphics uh, mainly corresponds to the options that you can edit in game, while the other ones concerns options that you can't edit in game. Well, some of them that you can't edit in game, that's for sure. Uh, let's jump into the second one first because it's probably going to be easier for you to understand. Uh, so you can edit it with Notepad Plus Plus, for example. That's what I'm using. Uh, and you can basically see all the options, uh, it's quite simple to see how it works. You've got a key, then you've got equals, then you've got double quotes that surround a number that corresponds to like what what setting it is set on. So let's take an example, um, my screen height is 2160, my screen width is 3840. Uh, I'm using a window full screen which corresponds to 1 and I'm guessing 0 and 2 corresponds to windowed and full screen. Uh, I don't have vertical sync so that's set on 0, I don't have fixed frames so that's set on 0. You can check all the settings that you have here and hopefully they will correspond. So I'm guessing uh, the game takes this into account when it comes to those exact options but when it comes to other options it's gonna take the other one. So let's see how we can edit this one. Um, you will need a dedicated uh, software to edit this one. It's called Aeon Sys Editor. I'll give you a link in the description if you want to grab it and do whatever you want with it. Um, so you first open it, then it asks you to load a file. You can just load system.cfg and you will see it looks pretty much the same as the other one, except it's slightly longer and the keys are much more different. You can find a list of the most useful um, keys on the link that I provided, but uh, if you're going to edit this, most likely you're going to edit one of those three keys here, which are gchat log, which enables or disables the writing to the chat log, uh, the max fps, which allows you to override the default 120 fps cap, so you can set it to whatever you want. If you want max 50 FPS, you're just going to write G max FPS equals 50. If you put zero, it, you will have unlimited FPS and it will just be function of your GPU and your CPU, I guess. And finally, you've got one key that's G show FPS, which by default uh, displays the FPS counter that you've got in uh, Aeon. Uh, once you've edited any of those two files, you need to do one more thing, which is to um, set both of those files to read-only. Otherwise, every time you're gonna leave Aeon, it's gonna be overridden and it's gonna basically just set to the settings that are in Aeon right now and that will just reset basically your config files to whatever you had when you first opened them. Uh, so make sure you do that. And that's all. Now you can edit whatever the fuck you want on those files and have fun. Please keep in mind, if anything goes wrong, you've got those backup files that you just need to replace here and Aeon will launch again. Have fun and till next time.